In class tonight, we are going to focus on breath work. So this is something that's so integral and so important to yoga. There are many different styles of breathing um, and they do uh, different things for the body. So some cleanse the lungs, the internal organs, some help warm us up, some help um, balance the body, our energy and our mind, and also aid in concentration. So tonight we're going to focus on two types of breathing, uh, the Kapala body breath and Analoma Viloma, but there are many different types, uh, but we'll just spend a little time at the beginning of class working on these. So we'll do this before we get into our, um, our yoga posture practice or our asana practice, but we're gonna start by coming to an easy seated position. So we wanna make sure that our shoulders are back and that they're stacked over the hips. Our hips are grounded down and we're going to be here for a couple minutes. So if you need to adjust by either placing blocks under your outer thighs or even coming into a hero pose, whatever works for you to keep that nice, tall, long torso is okay. If you're comfortable in a cross-legged seated position and you wanna move into half or full lotus, that means one or both feet on top, go right ahead. But again, the important thing is that our body really is comfortable and grounded because we don't want to be distracted by the, seating, the seated position we've chosen. So for Kapala body breath, this is a active, forceful, somewhat forceful breath um, intended to invigorate the body. So not only are we going to um, be generating heat and a slightly elevated heart rate, um, but we are going to be using this breath to tone the stomach, the liver, and the heart. And it is going to be um, getting rid of stale air from the lungs. So the idea is that this quick, um, strong breath removes the stale air from the lungs, creating space for fresh oxygenated blood. So I like to start with my hand on my upper abdominals about where my diaphragm is. So that's just between um, the lower ribs as they split apart. And I want you to think of a bellows for a fireplace. So when you squeeze a bellows, the air pushes out of the bellows quickly. And as you open it back up, air silently pours back into the bellows. So we're going to be doing the same thing with our body. We're going to keep our mouth closed but relaxed and we're going to do deep forceful exhales through the nose. Something like this. So that exhale is coming from the diaphragm. It's an abdominal contraction so that's why placing the hand there can really help. You can feel those muscles pressing and squeezing the bellows, squeezing the lungs to press that air out. But the inhale is happening but it's very quiet. Okay, so as the body relaxes from that exhale, we're inhaling and filling the lungs again with fresh air. So your exhales might not be as quick as mine, um, again, because we're just learning this and just getting started. Um, it really is important to make sure you are getting an inhale. We don't want to be hyperventilating here. Um, but we're going to aim to do 20 in a row, and then we're going to take a couple nice deep breaths. So let's come into position, roll the shoulders back, place one hand on the abdomen, and let's take two full breaths together. Inhale deeply through the nose, and exhale fully, letting the body relax. One more time, inhale, fill the lungs, the abdomen with air, exhale, squeeze, let it all relax, and we'll begin. Excellent, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. Good, so Kapalabhati is actually translated as the skull shining breath. So I'm sure you can feel that um, air as it forcefully exits through the nose. You might feel your sinuses becoming more open and more clear, and this is warming the body as well. So we're gonna do two more sets of 20. Let's take two full breaths and then move into our practice. Inhale, exhale all the air out. One more time, inhale. And exhale, 
and begin. Good, deep breaths. Try and expand your ribs, your lungs as much as possible and exhale, release. One more. And release. Good, so you may have started to feel by the end, maybe around 12 or 15 of those, that your abdominals are really assisting the diaphragm in that movement and they start to fatigue a little bit. So this is something that the more we practice, the more comfortable it becomes, uh, the more our body responds positively to it. So we're going to only do three sets of 20 tonight. That means one more set, but you can do this you know, at home at any point. You can even do this standing up. So it's a, great, um, it's a great distraction if you're sitting at your desk and you just need a couple minutes to yourself uh, to kind of recharge and clear your mind. So let's do one more set. Inhale and exhale. Again, inhale deeply. Exhale fully. And begin. Excellent, inhale and exhale. Last deep breath and release. Excellent job. Lower your hands to your lap, roll your shoulders back and notice how your body feels. You might feel again a little bit more um, openness through the sinuses. You may need to grab a tissue. You might feel like your abs are a little fatigued or you just have an overall sense of warmth. So that's really what we want to create. It's a great one to do at the beginning of our practice to help warm up our body, help remind ourselves to take nice, deep, full breaths and really utilize the lungs. The next breath we're going to work on is called Analoma Veloma. So Analoma Veloma is our deep breathing and our deep alternate nostril breathing, I should say. So throughout the day, when we're in top health, um, our body breathes through one nostril mainly at a time. So we really want to focus on balancing the body. So both nostrils should be working evenly and share their, their work. So we want to kind of remind them to do this. And by doing this analoma veloma practice, we can, um, we can kind of help the body remember that it should be switching off from one nostril to the other. So first, we're going to lift up our right hand and we're gonna put it in Vishnu Mudra. So that means we're bending the pointer finger and the middle finger into our palm. And it's okay if they don't quite stay there by themselves. Uh, we're not gonna keep our other fingers extended right away, but we're going to use this Vishnu Mudra to assist us with alternate nostril breathing. So we're going to bring the palm in towards the face, and the idea is that our thumb is going to gently block off the right nostril, and we're going to inhale through the left nostril, then we're going to pinch both nostrils together, and then we're going to release the right nostril and exhale through the right, and then we will switch sides with the next breath. So um, again, this is something that we do with practice, and with practice, we begin to lengthen these breaths. So we're going to start at the base, 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 with a two count inhale through the left, an eight count hold of the breath, and a four count exhale through the right nostril. I'll count aloud. So let's bring our hand up to the nose, placing the thumb on the right nostril. Let's inhale through the left for two counts. One two, retain the breath, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, release the right nostril and exhale for one, two, three, four. Inhale through the right nostril for one, two, retain the breath for eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Release the left nostril for four. One, two, three, four. Good job, release your hand for a moment. Take a full breath and release. Good, 
So that same 2, 8, 4 ratio, we are going to double. All right, so that's actually, I find an easier way to begin because that two count of an inhale really doesn't supply me with enough oxygen. So we're now going to inhale for four, retain for 16, and exhale for eight. So again, we really wanna work on making the most of that breath, utilizing it evenly. So now you know the counts, so inhale deeply, retain, and exhale also deeply, okay? So Vishnu Mudra again with the right hand, the hand never changes. We're gonna bring it back up and starting by holding the right nostril, the left, tail inhale, the left nostril inhales first for four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Retain, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, release right, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Inhale right, 2, 3, 4, retain, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Exhale left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Release the hand, deep breath in through the nose, and out. Excellent job. So the, the analoma viloma, this alternate nostril breathing, again, is supposed to balance the body and bring concentration um, as well as even out our energy and kind of our overall mood. So that is also a great breath to do when you are short on time or short on temper um, to help the body really relax and bring the focus back.